Hi y'all, Sandra Sherman here from Guitar Versum. I've got so many requests for another chord melody style jazz standard, so here's a very popular one, Fly Me to the Moon. I'm going to show you each and every note of this tune slow and easy. If you need uh, taps, the link is uh, down below in the description. I play the song now in regular tempo and in slowed down tempo at the end of the lesson. Alright, let's get started. Fly Me to the Moon has two A sections and I've added a little ending. I use hybrid picking, which means I'm holding my pick between a thumb and index as I usually do. And then I use my middle ring and pinky for the other strings. And I can play those simultaneously, everything together at once. But in ballads, in ballads I prefer to play uh, the chords are arpeggiated, which means I play them after each other. I play bass, middle, ring and pinky very quickly after each other. That's a little hard in the beginning, so you can just play simultaneously. And the better you get, you can try those arpeggiated chords. It's a lot softer for ballads, that's why I use it. And hybrid picking I use for more flexibility, so I have my pick in, in, in the hand all the time when I need to play single notes and also have my fingers for the chords. Alright, so here's phrase one for you. We start out with the C minor 7 chord, which is uh, index on the 10th fret of the D string, middle and ring go on the 11th of B and E string, and your pinky is in between on the 12th of the G string, so 10, 12, 11, 11. Fly, hit it at once or arpeggiate it. Then we go over to a C minor 9 chord, which is a bar chord on the 8th fret, from the D string to the high E string, and I use my pinky, you can use your ring finger too, for the 10th fret of the E string. To the, and then I play uh, the eighth fret of the E string. I hope you're still barring this. So don't play. I know it's written like that in my uh, tabs because I didn't want to write let ring throughout every bar, but let ring everything in a chord melody piece. Then we have the eleventh of the uh, B string. So we have fly me to the everything rings into each other so don't lift your finger fly me to the moon now we have an F minor 7 chord which we play only the inner four strings 8 uh, bar on the 8th fret 10 of the uh, D string 
then the bar on the uh, eighth fret continues and then we have the ninth fret of the uh, B string so we don't play the E string because our melody note is here on the B string so we have eight ten eight nine okay fly me to the moon and 11th fret of the B string again while you leave everything as is now I press down the um, uh, the bar chord until the east uh, up until the E string, and I play that E string on the eighth fret. Mm -hmm. Now I take my little finger, my pinky to the eleventh uh, fret of the E string. So that's the melody, and during the whole melody, I'll leave the F minor chord. Okay, everything until now. Okay, then I have a B flat 7 chord, which is D string 8, 10 G, 9 B, and 10 E. Then I change over to a B flat 13 with a ninth in there too. D string, 6, G7, 8B, and another 8 on the E string. You could also bar this, but I don't. I recommend not barring this. Play it with those two fingers, because now you need to lift off your pinky, okay? And, and then we go to the um, uh, what is it? Ninth fret of the uh, B string. Let everything ring together. So don't play. Okay. Then you slide your finger to the uh, eighth fret, your pinky, and we play an E flat major seventh chord. That's a six on the A, eighth on the D, seven on the G and 8th on the B. Then I make a rest with my right hand. Just leave the hand as is. Don't do this or some funny stuff. Like this. And then I change over to an A7 flat 5 chord. This has no melody in it. It's just a filler, okay? Otherwise the bar would be so empty, okay? But I mean you can leave it standing like this. But I prefer Oops. So I play this fifth fret of the E string with my thumb. The uh, middle finger has the fifth on the D, the ring finger has the sixth on the uh, G, and the index finger has the fourth on the B. That's an A7 flat 5 chord. It's a tritone substitute uh, for those of you know who, who know that is. Okay, so there's a little rhythm going on here. So first phrase, slow and easy. Three, four. Phrase number two starts on the A flat major seven chord which is D string 6 and then a bar with the ring finger on the 8th of G, B and E string. Then I play the 6th fret of the E string and I'll leave everything, I'll leave that whole bar chord. Then I play the 9th of the B string and the 8th of the B string. Okay, then I have a D half diminished, just a regular D half diminished, which is on the A string fifth, ring finger has the sixth, middle finger the fifth of the G string, and the sixth of the B string with your pinky, five, six, five, six. Then I slide over, I mean it's not an audible slide, but when I say slide I mean don't lift your finger a mile away and go back, but just 
keep in touch with the string. Okay? 8B, 9B, and your ring finger goes to the 8th of the E string. Okay, so by now. And then we have a G7 altered chord, or G7 flat 9 for, uh, for now. Um, and I use a um, diminished substitute for this. So we have a diminished chord here, starting on a D, string 6, G7, 6th of the B, and 7th of the E string. So this looks just like the D half diminished, but if you play the same voicing, uh, strings up, then it's a diminished chord, fully diminished. And it stands for a G7 flat 9 chord. And since diminished chords repeat themselves all the three frets, I just can now move down one, two, three frets where my next uh, melody no note is. And I have that same chord. Those are the same chords. So I go from here do a little arpeggiating thing again with my right hand and then I go down and play that same voicing on the third, fourth, third, fourth frets. Then I lift everything off, take three of E and six of B. And finally end in a C minor seven chord, the same we had before in F minor seven but now on the third uh, string. Uh, Fred, three, it's a bar chord on the third, five of D, three of G because of the bar, and fourth of B. We play the inner four strings, okay? So, the whole second phrase in slow motion. One, two, three, four. Okay, phrase number three starts from the C7 bar chord. We just left uh, the C minor 7 and we change to the C7. All you have to do now is take your middle finger from the previous C minor 7 and instead use your pinky on that same string on the fifth. So we have a total of three bar. A bar, uh, bar chord on the third fret, then five, three, five, the inner four strings, three, five, three, five. In other words, please be two, that's that part. And we have now a chord that looks a little similar to the previous one. It's a bar chord on the sixth, we have a, an, an F minor seven, this is a bar chord on the sixth fret, inner four strings, and we use the middle finger for the 8, I know it's a little hard to get there, and the ring finger on the 8th of the D string. So we have 8 on the A, 6, 8, and another 6 because of the bar. Okay, 8, 6, 8, 6. Don't play it like that, even though it's easier. We're gonna need the pinky right in a second. So from in, just slide over there and change those fingers. Leave the bar chord as is. And the words. And now I need my pinky to fret the eighth fret of the E string while you leave everything as it is. And I just play that single note twice. Uh, oops, sorry. C7 and F minor 7. Uh, the words. Then I go over to a B flat uh, 9 sus 4 chord. It's really high up on the 13th fret. And you just bar the middle strings, A string, D, G, and B string on the 13th fret. Okay? Uh, in other words, that's just a filler. Please be 
I use my six, uh, my pinky for the 16th fret on the uh, B string and my ring for the 15th fret and leave everything as is. Please be true. So the, now we have an E flat uh, 6 9 chord that is actually missing the root, which would be here on the 11th fret. Mm, so it looks like a G minor 11. Okay, we start on the A string, and we bar it on the 10th fret. And on the uh, B string, we play the middle finger on the 11th fret. So E flat 6 9 that is. And this lasts for a bar, so I'm going to fill it up a bit. I count one, two, three, and four. Then I fill with another bass note and I play, that's the A string, and then with my middle and ring finger, I play uh, the D and the G string, just to uh, give it a little rhythm. One, two, three, and four. And then I change over to a diminished chord which substitutes actually a C7 flat 9 chord. Has the same top note as before. A string uh, 10, D string uh, yeah, 11, G string 9, and B string 11th. Okay, so I go from 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1. Okay. Let's play the whole uh, third phrase for you. Uh, we started here. One, two, this is in, in the last bar actually, uh, in the previous bar from, uh, from the second phrase. So it starts on beat number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've reached the last four bars of section A1. And this one starts on the four of the last section and it starts with an E minor 7, which is A string 7, D string 5 and G string 7. Just those three notes, okay? In other words, we start E minor 7 and we uh, move over to uh, the sixth fret one fret to the right, that's an F minor 7, and your pinky now goes to the ninth fret of the B string, while everything remains and rings into this note. Two notes actually. And uh, the words, I play this just with my pick. And then I leave everything except for those two. They, no, I lift everything and, and those two fingers remain on the fretboard. I bar on the 6th fret now because it's going to be in B flat 7 sus 4 chord. So I have the 6th here on the E string, then I play nothing on the A string as usual, then uh, D string is, is the 6th also from the bar, and this remains the 8th and this remains the 9th. So, okay. And Now I have a B flat 13 9 chord, which we've had already. Actually, move your index down, just don't lift it too far. Everything's supposed to go smoothly. 6 of D, 7 G, 8 and 8 of B and E string. Don't bar this chord, please, please. Because now you need to lift it, your pinky and bar this index finger to have the 6th fret of the E string, okay? Whole chord, just E string. Then we have a ninth on the B string with your pinky finger. Uh, da, 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 da. And now it's to an E flat major 7 chord. All you have to do is slide this to the, uh, to the left on the 8th fret. We have a 6 on the A, 8 on the D, 7 on the G, and 8 on the B. That's an E flat major chord. And 
now do a little filler. I put in a little filler, which is bass, the A string, and then the middle two strings, the eighth and the seventh. So what I get now is not a whole bar of E flat, two, three, four, that would be boring. I play one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and is the bass, and the four is those two strings. Okay, and now I have another filler because the melody is finished now, but there's one bar left. So I have a filler and I use a 2-5 progression to uh, go back to the A section. And this is a D minor 11 on the 10th fret of the E string, 10th D, 10th G and 8th of the B string. Then I rest my hand, I make it a percussive rest. And then I leave all those two fingers on and take my ring to the A string of the 10th, the middle to the 9th of the D string. That's a D minor 11 to a G7. Okay, the whole last phrase. One, two, three. Alright, for section A2 all we have to do is repeat the first 10 bars and then have a different ending. I'll show you the first 10 bars of the uh, A section again, quickly. stop and change over to the second house the second ending okay the second ending we came from here and now we are at the G half diminished which is a 10 D 11 G 10 and B 11 and because it lasts a bar I fill it up at the three and and the four as we did before one two three and four on the three end I played play the bass note the A string and on the four I play the middle and the ring finger which are in the D and G strings simultaneously one two three and four then I change over to C7 flat 9 chord I can actually leave the ring and pinky finger where they are and just turn around the middle and index finger. Now I have uh, 10 A, 11 D, 9 G and 11th of the B string. That's a diminished chord substituting for the C7 flat 9 chord. One, two, three and four. One, two, three. And on the four count, I go over to E minor seven, which is seven E, 5B and 7G. 
and then I move it up to an F minor 7, uh, which is just one to the right. Then I play the G string, I'll leave everything as is, and I play the G string twice. Okay, then I'll leave everything as it is and bar my index finger on the 6th fret. Actually, I can lift my pinky. Now I have 6E, 6D, and the 8th of uh, G, and that's a B flat, uh, what is it? B flat 7 sus 4 chord. I do not play the B and E strings, so I end at the uh, G string. Okay. And now it's the ending chords. Please be true. And for this, I recommend arpeggiating, arpeggiating the chords, you know, that thing. Plus, start to slow it down. Ritardando or ritenuto, that's called. Okay, we have a B flat 9 sus 4 chord now, which is 6 on the E, 6 on the D, 5 on the G, and 4 on the B. Please B. That's a B flat seven altered chord, which I substitute with a diminished chord. That's five on the A, six on the D, four of the G, and six of the B. Just the same we had before on, on a C. Now it's a B flat. Okay. Please B true. That's an E flat six chord, yeah. Six A, five, five D and G, and four B. True. And that's the end of the uh, A2 section. And if you want to solo, you would start everything over again. But if you want to come to an end, I have two more ending chords. I think it's two for you. Okay? Keep slowing down everything. Please be true. Okay, those two ending chords are, this is in G altered something, I think, well, what is it? Uh, that's a third, that's the seventh, that's a flat sharp nine, and that's the uh, uh, flat 13. So it's a G flat 13 sharp nine chord. Okay, and I arpeggiate it, but not this way. Now I really... Okay, I let everything ring together. Second fret of the A string, third fret of the uh, D string, third of the uh, G, and fourth of the B. So I fret it after one another. Let it ring. Go back. Okay, A string, D string, G string, B string, G string, D string. I slow down, and now the ultimate ending chord. Okay, this looks a little hard. It's not that hard. It's like an E flat uh, sus 2 or something, add 9 chord. Okay, I have an E flat here. This is the 6th uh, fret of the A string. I bar with my index on the 3rd fret. And I have my middle finger on the 4th of the B string. And all I do is I play the inner 4 strings. So I only play the A on the 6th. 3, 3, 4. Oops, not this one, sorry. Six, three, three, four. And if you want to, you can add another. Okay, without the bass, sorry. Okay, last two chords.
I hope my little video helped you improve your chord melody playing. If you like the video, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Ciao!